36 million years ago where we are now sitting here in northern Labrador, an asteroid or comet, maybe one or two kilometers in diameter, struck the surface. We're bringing astronauts to the Kamastastin Lake impact structure here in northern Labrador for a few reasons. Uh, the first is that it's a well-preserved meteorite impact structure, a well-preserved complex impact structure, and there are relatively few of those, period, on Earth. Here at Stastin, Chemistastin, we also have a couple of other unique aspects. Target rocks that it formed in, part of that was anorthosite. And anorthosite is the pale white rock that uh, most of the lunar crust is, is comprised. We also have some exceptionally preserved, what we call impactites. These are rocks produced from the impact. So we have impact melt rocks, impact breaches, um, and some quite large expanses, including cliff sections over 80 meters thick. We actually see similar textures, similar features in a lot of the Apollo samples. So we've been able to put that together to come here to Mastastin and see the rocks in situ is really a, an important learning experience. It looks like a Sudbury Breccia, and that's the truth. Apollo astronauts actually came up to Canada to another impact crater. That is what we call the Sudbury impact structure around Greater Sudbury in uh, Ontario. And we actually have a great record here in Canada of meteorite impacts, probably one of the best in the world. There are about 30 meteorite impacts here in Canada, which does make it, you know, I think as quite a unique destination for training astronauts in general. I've had and others have had uh, Canadian astronauts over the past decade out on various field expeditions to northern regions primarily. Um, I've had Canadian astronauts Jeremy Hansen and David St. Jacques out with, with me on a number of occasions to various meteorite impact craters all over Canada. My hope is that we've laid the foundation uh, here with this expedition for future missions and expeditions.